Don't quite know what to say. Oh, I often get that reaction. I'm sure. Oh, here. Please take this as a gift. Because after all, we did this together. <laughs> you and I are both like God now. In a way. Hello everyone, it is the Almighty Jeff and this is episode 112 of Red Dead Redemption 2. Last time we managed to collect all the animals needed for the fifth hunting request. We completed the ninth rank of the Horseman Challenge by completing a dry dash between the Van Horn Trading Post and Blackwater, and we handed in the legendary Rock Bass. We pulled down the old shack with the help of Uncle and Charles, paid one last visit to Evelyn Miller, received an invitation from Miss Hobbs, and bought a pre-cut house for Beecher's Hope. Whilst we were buying our tools, we were ambushed by the Skinner Brothers, whilst they unfortunately killed one of the men that were protecting us. We finished up by paying our third visit to the mysterious cabin in the swamp. Before we get into this episode, I have a compilation of random events, which I also encountered before starting the previous episode. So I hope you guys enjoy. Stugs, huh? Where are they? It's the stone farmhouse back there where I came from. I'll head there now. I'll see about finding more help. You don't sign this over. I'm gonna take a long time. What's the guy's name? Hey, untie me, will you? Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Those goddamn bastards deserve that and more. My wife. You see my wife by any chance? Yeah, I saw her. It's west of here. She told me to come find you. Oh. Oh, thank God. But thank you for hearing her call. Hey, you. I need a hand here. This damn con man sold me a serum made from rhino horn for a little problem I've been having. It didn't work, so I took it to a pharmacist. Turns out it's just water, table salt, and flour. You gotta help me find the bastard. Ah, uh, right. So, uh, which way do you go? Not sure. I reckon he's hiding in town somewhere. I'll keep looking here, if you can check the other side of the river. Whew. <laughs> What's that smell? Sorry. Hey there. Sell any miracle cures lately? Hear that rhino horn is real hard to come by. Shh. Mm. I get it. I get it. Just keep it down, will you? That limp dick sent you here, didn't he? Mm. He's a vile man. <clears throat> well, any luck? Your swindler's waist deep in shit over behind the woodworks. Okay. I'm gonna make him drown in that shit hole. I ought to chop your shit. pecker off, you goddamn bunko artist! No, 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 no! Uh, uh, wait, wait, wait! Mm, I worked mm, for the other customer, I swear! Did you take it like I said? Shut your bone box! Uh, right on uh, horn, uh, my ass! Uh, you sold me hard tack in a bottle! Uh, uh, stay the hell away from me! I don't deserve the end! Uh, 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 with me see what happens let's see you sell your rhino bunk now got quite an arm on you ain't much in the mood for company right now partner All right. You don't strike me as a happy fella. Making my life a misery day and night. All those years chasing her. Well, she didn't want nothing to do with me. 
It's woman problems, right? Might be better you spoke to the lady. Well, I, I don't generally have much to say. Listen, partner. I'm hardly one to give marriage advice, but it's better if you stick to it. <sighs> Can't make things worse, I suppose. See you, mister. Okie dokie, we're actually up in uh, near Strawberry. We're about to go and meet with Miss L. Hobbs. So, let's go and find out what uh, what it's all about. She's the lady who's been sending all these animal parts to for the past few years. Well, obviously, we did the first four with Arthur and the fifth with John. So, let's see what this is all about. Oh. Oh my, well this is already creepy. Um Hello A better world of you friend. You said to come call on you? My name's John Marston. I've been sending you the animals for your art. I guess you make clothes or something? Clothes? Oh, no, I don't make clothes, dearie. Come, come. Mm. What do you make? I make art, dearie. <laughs> art? Not art, but life. Life as art. <sighs> come. Come meet my friends. <laughs> come, come. It's downstairs. Come meet the world you helped build. I mean, Arthur did most of it, <laughs> to be fair. This is... <clears throat> this is... This is quite something. <laughs> it's my life work, dearie. An almighty struggle. <laughs> oh, I love this little fella. He makes me so happy. There's so much life in him, in a way. Look at these three playing poker. Oh, they'll never know who wins because they're all dead. It's just morbid. Only it doesn't look like. Sometimes I, I, I make up little funny voices, uh, and I make believe that they're all talking to one another. <laughs> I, I call this guy Percival. I don't know why. Uh, and these two over here, oh, they're prize fighters. Obviously, there isn't any prize, because they're both dead. I tried this with humans once during a, a cholera outbreak. Ah, no. Animals are better. Their fur is so nice and ah. Oh. Um Yeah. I think I don't quite know what to say. Oh, I often get that reaction. I'm sure. Oh, here. Please take this as a gift. Because after all, we did this together. You and I are both like God now, in a way. Thanks. I should get going. Yeah, well, maybe when you die, somebody will stuff you. I really and hope not. Heaven is just like this. Did you ever think of that, dearie? No. I never did. Oh. Be well. Hi. God damn. I mean, it's remarkable that he's got John's gear on, despite the fact that she'd have no idea what he looked like, but okay. Uh, so I know there's a thing to do with the squirrel statue okay, in girl? the eventual Beaches Hope, like the proper building, and I know it's sort of like a cheeky thing where you'll put the squirrel down and then it'll keep disappearing, sort of thing. 
um, which obviously we can't do yet, but we should be able to. Do. I think the next mission involves the building of Beach's Hope. I'm not 100% though. Um, I'm going to head to Blackwater. We're going to pick up a bounty there. Um, and also do a little bit of shopping whilst we're there as well. Uh, but yeah, so I know that's that, but I think that is ultimately all there is to that mission. Like, it's all the Hunter requests, and obviously you get that cutscene at the end. Which I don't think... I don't think it's actually possible at all to get that with Arthur. It's always going to be John. Unlike some of the other ones, such as the Dinosaur Bones, uh, I believe you can do that. And the um, Jeremy Gill with the Fisher of Fish. I think those technically are possible with Arthur. But you end up having to go into... New Austin and all that as well. Which you're not supposed to do, but I think through glitches people have done. But, uh, I didn't want to do any glitches or anything like that. I'm surprised that Blackwater doesn't have any, um, gun store, unless I'm just not seeing it. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it does. Which surprising. I'm going to check the general store, but I believe if it, if a place usually has a tail, it means they don't sell clothes. Yeah, it does not sell clothing. Okay, never mind. I'm just checking. Alright. So, as per usual, we'll start looking through outfits first, and then we'll get all, like, the, the odd bits and bats. Same way we did with Arthur. Hello. Good to have you. Thank you. You're very polite. I love your moustache. Okay, so we got this Josiah for seventy dollars, the McLaughlin for seventy eight, the Donegal for seventy four, and the Farrier for eighty eight. So we'll start with the cheapest. We'll go for the Josiah. My word, fifteen dollars. Why is it so cheap? Is it because of our honour? So then. That's, that's really that's a, an amazing deal. All right, till the next time. <laughs> that's a bit of an ugly hat. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit big. Uh, just checking. No, it doesn't look as a gun store. Well, it doesn't matter. Let's pick up our second Blackwater bounty. Look who it is. May I direct you to that bounty poster hanging on yonder wall there? Okay. Uh, thank you. Be cool if you could do these optionally with Sadie, like if, even if it meant you had to split the coat. It'd be totally fun. Okay. Uh, Bounty poster for Herman Zizendorf. Thirty dollars. Is that it? For arrest and detention until an officer of Blackwater can come to apprehend him. What if a fraud, deceiving an officer of the law, and multiple counts of theft? Zizendorf is of tall build, bushy mustache, and brightly coloured clothes. Is a vaccination scar on upper left arm, what an index finger, and flat feet. If located a rest holder wire at my expense, Professor Chief or Dunbar, Blackwater Police Department. Thirty dollars, how this is worth it. Fella's been going into construction yards in the night, taking tools and the like. All kinds of folks is angry about this one, right up to City Hall. Standing in the way of progress, they say. Hmm. Zeisendorf, is it? That's how he says it. I thought he was a nice feller, respectable. The Germans usually are, but not this one. You know the man? I do. Caught him selling stolen tools, and I was persuaded he'd been had. We're sure we've got our man now, though, and we're sure he'll strike again. Okay, I'm glad. Because I ain't never sure of anything. I'll see what I can do then. I should like that one to be sensible when they're returned. Don't snuff them. Okay, it seems like he's in the area. Okay. Oh, if he's been stealing tools. What is all about? What is oh. I was gonna go to where we uh where we bought the house last time, but oh. Oh, it might be. You know what to do, girl. Okie dokie.
What's going on in there? Get yourself up. You don't have anything on me. Excuse me, fellas. Oh, this is gonna be a fun one. Surrender, size dwarf. You got nowhere to go. Let's make sure you can't run off anywhere else. <laughs> you really don't need to do that. So this guy, I think, got him. My senses have to be rude not to rob you. All right. Gentle. See, that was silly, wasn't it? Running off. My lawyer will hear about this. Um, think about it. Did you really see anything? It was dark. Many shadows. The frame of the building was in your way. It was like taking something. Mm. The burden of proof is on the prosecution, and if you give false testimony, that might be a civil matter. Don't push my buttons, dude. This is the police station. You might need a rest. This is an embarrassing mistake. My good name will be ruined. Shut it. Right, come on, mister. Dead to rights, didn't I, Mr. Zeisendorf? <laughs> Mr. Chief, I took a wander through construction. It's a mistake. Enough of you. Put that German in the cage. Innocent until proven. Quiet. There, there. <laughs> Settle in. You got your man, and here's your money. If only they was all like this. A crime is a crime and a... I saw that! You were paid to give false testimony! But this won't hold up in court! I should it. Alright, that was, a, that was a pretty quick. Nice. Okie dokie, uh, we are going to be heading back into New Austin. We're going to carry on uh, with our collectible hunting this time. I believe where we want to come. Uh, I, feel like I should have probably brought my map up first of all. It's around here somewhere. Uh, I'll have a more exact marker when we arrive, but uh, I'll see when we get there. Okay, dude. Still got your wits? Oh, mister, I, I can't even... You have saved my life. I can't thank you enough. Whatever is in that box is yours. I, I'll explain the loss. As far as I'm concerned, you earned it. Well, thank you very much. Take that gladly. And the honor boost is always nice. I'm for you to say that. Okay. Uh, no, do with that. Uh, just, just stop, stop. Oh, never mind. You're gonna get blood all over your nice new clothes. Didn't even have any money yet. Can we just can vegetables and ammo? Seriously, yeah. Yeah, never mind. Okay, I don't think we're a million miles away from where I actually need to be. Uh. Actually, more about here, where we want to go. Let's do that. Don't really need to worry too much about actual documents and stuff like that. I just did a check on my list. Most of them are in um, Chola Springs. But there's only one document in Hennigan's Stead, and that's actually parts of a treasure map that we've not yet uncovered. 
the elemental trail, which starts in Gaptooth Ridge. So we're actually going to be probably making our way backwards with that one, unless I decide to uh, head out there of my own accord. So you might remember this place as being uh, the old Bacchus place, which didn't really feature too much in the main story, but in the um, Undead Nightmare, this is where Seth was uh, dancing with the, uh, the zombies and stuff like that. And if we come inside the house, um, there should be a fertility statue in the chimney, which I suppose we can sell. So there you go. Doesn't really look like there's anything else. Although you can sleep here, which is a bit weird, as I've said in the past. You know, just sleep on some random abandoned bed. So. You got this, girl. Okay, uh, we've actually got a few places pretty close by. In fact, we've got a legendary animal pretty close. Uh, just about here, we've got the legendary Tatanka Bison. Oh, calm down. Carrier situation. So let's see if we can uh, turn them down, because it's been a long time since we've um, a legendary animal. The last time we did was the Bull Gator. Don't need any wolves getting in my business. Thank you very much. Okay, okay. Chill your situation. Okay. Um, it should give me the notification, shouldn't it? But I'm in legendary animal territory. There we go. Um, hmm. We can't see any clues. Oh, there we go. Dung. This, when you make these, a while ago. All right. Some broken sticks. Okay, you ain't that far. Right. But no, I think that's a horse. Yeah, got some fur. Must be close now. Nearly there, I bet. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Lovely. Hello there. Welcome to the family. Awesome. Okay, I'll just slap you on there. Come on, girl. One more time. All right, and if we come up here, as you can see, we got a, a new legendary fish, which is the redfin pickerel. So, from what I remember, I think those are small ones, aren't they? So we don't need to worry about the room on the back of the horse. But at the same time, if we did, uh, we'd need the hot, the fish with us, but the if we lose the pelt, it goes to the trapper anyway. We just don't. I just don't think we get the money for it, which is a massive deal. 
Sits this duck over here. Alright, alright, calm your bad jump. Uh, so, want special river law for this one. Uh, uh, there we go. Alright, so as per usual, there you go. I will keep fishing, and once we get this pickerel, unless it's immediate. I'll see you when we crab it. It might be immediate, who knows. If it's a tidgy thing, should be able to get it in pretty quickly. Doesn't look massive. That is a red and pickerel. Is that the legendary one? It bloody is. <laughs> We're getting good at this. Well, I'll say that. I think there's only one more after that one. Did not say. Okay. Oh, calm yourself. Uh, large breath bass. Uh, why didn't it tick off? That's weird. Easy now. Hmm. That's somewhat alarming. Definitely got it. Okay, um, we've got some bits here. Inside the cabin, we've got some aged pirate rum. And then it's just the cabin, still water cabin. So, uh, there you go. That's all that is to it. This isn't the, um, hmm. Hello, girl. One where the old guy lives. Well, or will live, I suppose, with his wife. I don't think it... Yeah, well, it might be, actually. I'm trying to think. I thought it was more around this area, but I could be wrong. Um, Alright, if we come down... Towards... This area here. We have... Brittle Brush Troll. So I don't think there's anything really of interest there. I think it's just a, a mat location. Um, which I think acted as a place where you could get bounties in Red Dead 1. I don't think there's really much else to it. I think that was the only reason you'd ever visit there. But it's on the map. It's something remarkable, so might as well have a nosy. Going over there, there's just a camp. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, it's always awkward in these parts, isn't it? Because. Oh, there's something going on over there. What's going on here? Dead lobos. Hey fellas, where are you headed? None of your damn business. Sure is rude. Maybe I'd turn the lot of you into buzzard bait. Pig shit cock. <laughs> Things not ticked off on my uh, fish fish list because it doesn't tick off until you send it. Whoa. Never mind, I'm an idiot. I was thinking, oh, this must be glitched, but obviously, it's not bloody massive. If you got it or not? If the uh, if he doesn't have the fish, it's not going to count. 
But that should be your darkest place. We'll go have a look down there anyway, just in case there's anything of interest. Not in the outhouse. I'm not that desperate. Hmm. Cool kingdom. Yeah, pomade. No, we are not having the premium cigarettes. No siri bob. All right. Good girl. That was Good it for girl. Bacchus place. In fact, our next place that we're going to be visiting is the one and only McFarland's Ranch. Well, hey, gonna pay a, an early visit. I think I can actually uh, fast travel up there. So we might as well just nip up the hill, because I did pass through it when I was coming through um, New Austin the first time. Because, you know, it's, it's sort of like a landmark, so I, I knew where I was going. Uh, can we go to McFarland's Ranch? Yeah, we can. Old Faithful. I don't think we're going to bump into Bonnie, unfortunately. I think that would be a, something of a plot hole. <laughs> um, in fact, uh, well, I hope I don't get into trouble for this, because we've actually got um, a hat on a scarecrow, which wants me to shoot off. So hopefully I can do this soundly without worrying the locals. Um, I'm taking it it's in the the vegetable patch. Hey, hey, easy. Possibly, I don't know. Um, hmm. I'm hundred percent sure, actually. It's just about. I imagine it's about here actually. The map's not uh, kind of. Oh, I know. It's actually right in front of me. I can just see it. Um. See, so knock it off with a hatchet. He. <laughs> Um, the hat's the scarecrow top hat, but it's not shining. Which makes me feel. Oh, it is shining. Okay, so he did save. Right, never mind. So we got that in the uh, in the inventory now. And if we come to what actually looks like John's old, uh, well, John's future safe house. Uh, is it in this safe house? Uh, no, it's not actually. Never mind. But uh, for all you uh, Red Dead One fans like myself, here you, lady. You're in front of my house. Ah, oh, never mind. Oh, hello. Good dog. Good, good dog. Can't, unfortunately, we can't go check out our old. Day. Oh, careful, you. I think you're not a dog. Okay. Um. Ah. Here it is. What's a miracle tonic? A ghoul nugget. Aged pirate room. That's your lot. Okay, hope no one gets pissy about that. This is a blacksmith. I believe this is what goes on to become the general store here, doesn't it? Oh no, the general store just doesn't exist. Yeah, I think it's in front of the corral, isn't it? When it eventually gets built. And it's weird, which. Uh, yeah, the band's not there either, is it? So, uh, yeah, clearly some time before all that goes down. I think if I come to this little train station here, uh, it should be a cigarette card. The stars of the stage. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I can see you. Cock-a-doodle-doo. Uh, 
What are we looking at? Irene G Grub. Okay. Very nice. There's a decent chunk of uh, New Austin taken get taken out there. Whereas there's still quite a lot to go. Don't don't get me wrong, but uh, time wise, we're just about there. And I think by the time we've gone through our uh, gear and stuff like that, we'll uh, well actually we might already be there because I'm not considering the the random events I'm putting in. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, poor Mr. Miller. Alright, cool. Let's save the game. Uh, yeah, story is what we're looking for there. So we finished last time on 71.3%. Today we're on, I don't think it'll have advanced, but yeah, we're... Uh, same percent, 70, uh, 91.3 percent, sorry. Definitely not the 70 percent. Uh, so, yeah, very good. Um, we've got about, let's see, about one, two, three, four, five, six in Hennigan's stead. And then we've got a decent chunk in, uh, in the rest of the map. But they're all kind of spread out, so it might just look like I've got more than I actually think. But anyway. Anywho, that is where we're going to end it for today. I'm really glad of the progress we made this episode. We pushed a nice little chunk into... New Austin, we picked up another legendary animal and a legendary fish. So, yeah, and it's um, pretty cool. We're visiting some of the old locations that we will go on to. Well, John will go on to visit. Obviously, we've already visited. It's kind of weird when you're playing a prequel game, I suppose. Uh, next episode, we will start off, obviously, with um, off camera work. So, I'm going to try and advance both um, Herbalist and uh, Horseman 10. Uh, both of which are one of those ones that I'm probably going to be doing it a bit at a time because I think Herbalist is to season and cook every type of meat and uh, Horseman is to break every wild horse so we'll probably try and uh, take on a few of those we'll probably do some more hunting, see if I can get some random documents so I don't risk missing out on any um, We'll start off next episode with the next mission and hopefully that means we'll get Beecher's Hope constructed which uh, we'll open up another couple of things. Uh, we might finish off that point of interest with the shack. Um, and if it, it does end up with that who's been constructed, we should be able to pick up that random event that's in Saint Denis, which has been bugging me for ages. Um, and I think we can start looking through that little uh, Better World, a new friend, squirrel thing. You know what I mean? Um, but other than that, we don't have any strangers to bother with anymore. We've got um, the other bounty in Blackwater and then it's basically all through New Austin so we'll just do what we can there. Before we report, let me take a second to thank my amazing patrons, my £5 patrons are Ever the Snake and Ron Hyler. You can find links to their channels as well as my other £3 patrons in the description down below and on screen also you create my £1 patrons. Thank you so much everyone, it is truly appreciated and it goes a long way to have the channel so I do thank you a lot for that and if you wish to become a patron you can follow the link in the description down below. You don't have to do that because at the end of the day, if you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.